All right, so I'm here with the homie Chris. Yo. And um, this is a post Columbus Day mail call. So, got that federal holiday on Monday. Have a Sunday, post office closed. Mail can get kind of backed up. Plus, I just had a bunch of stuff that was slow to come in. I think you've been, you've been experiencing that at all? Yeah, I, yeah I've got a few things that, yeah, starting to get a little concerned, but I should all get here. I had a huge load today. Should have brought some over, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, you you're saying that same thing happened to you where it's extra mail call Tuesday. Yeah, like twenty five packages. Jeez, the man's been buying. Not, uh, yeah, man, you really well, like I this a, title. I have a few of part two, so I, I think. Oh, okay, Sunsaw. That's very respectable. Yeah, um, exclusive to sixty four. Good to lock in the second one and get top dollar out of them. So. I don't plan on selling them yet. Um, I think they'll, they'll creep up a little bit. This one had my address written on both sides, so I opened it prematurely. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good little Ah, uh, yep, Xevious. That's a good little 3D G+. Plus. Cool thing about that game is, kind of based on the front, you might assume it's a, um, maybe like a Wing Commander style, like a 3D space shooter. But it's just like Xevious on Atari, it's a vertical shooter. And it has little sequences where it, it'll go kind of 3D, but just very, um, very PlayStation 1 y, if that makes sense. And it says that uh, the colors, the just early PlayStation polygons, but it does it right, or that it's without any compromise. It's not like shitty or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So, very playable game. Two players, and quite hard to find. Namco game, so. I've never seen it in the wild. It's a beautiful. Grab it. If you were gonna price it. Uh, what's it going for? I'd say it's going for like 40 to 50. Oh, shit, okay. But, cool. I've, I've got a few copies, and not too many of them are that crispy, crispy. You know what I'm saying? You, you're starting to get in the PS1. It's the only way I like it. Yeah, where that manual doesn't have that... That used, freaking yeah. thrown around. If it's been in and out, in and out, in and out of the case, you know, you're going to start to get beat up. Yeah, corners. yeah. But when you have that nice, crispy, crispy blackness to it... I started to... I remember when I was in the NGPC group, some guy finished his full set. The guy's like... There's staple rust on any of your manuals. It's like, oh my word, get out Please of here. Please don't buy from me. Get out of here. It's like, the answer is no, but I don't like you. I don't like the sound of your snootiness, collector snobbiness. When I list like, manual shit only. shit that I'm not going to have a rusty staple and just not. When I know. list my manual only, I do show the staples now. It's just to prove like, hey, yeah, look at my effort. We're talking to a ton of like, look oh, at no, uh, look at my big expensive game then absolutely I feel like that's big, big time to show off otherwise it's assumed you know so it's kind of on the seller if I if I know I've got a rusty oh. manual I'm going to show it um that's my take on that it's like you know you're selling a $300 PS1 game it's a good shot to show the, the mm. buyers but otherwise like oh yes, this is a game I've recommended a Canadian gamer and no doubt in my mind, you'd, you'd have some fun with it for, as far as bang for your buck. Really uncommon game, and you still get it for less than 15 shipped USD. So, I, I don't think it's going to hold that. In fact, I can promise you it's not going to hold that. That's a promise. Xbox Exclusive? It is Xbox Exclusive. NPC. Oh, okay. Um, has some bugs and stuff with it, but it's there's nothing else like it. Um, just a, one to check out. So, and that's the other thing is like anytime somebody ever makes you a suggestion in gaming, just jump on YouTube and look at it. You know, that's all you gotta do. Um, but yeah, when, you know, you know the passive, subtle little hint, hint, hint when Dave says, I know. It's, uh, it's not going to be $15 for too much time. That basically means it's fucking not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't need to elaborate on that. It sounds shitty. But I'm, I'm to the point where I'm happy to pay 15 for it. So if you can find it for 15, get it before I do. I remember when uh, 
a game called Deadly Premonitions is 15. Yeah, and I tried to tell my local area, like, yo, buy this freaking game. Deadly Prem. You see, it was like a 15 or not. Yeah, there were people that had it for 10 even. And now I just traded, I've traded two away at the last two events. Like 35, 40. That's a hookup. That's, that's like a dude. local, like yeah, friendly. Low. It's just because I got enough. It was even at like 60. Yeah, I mean, I've, 65. I've moved a few for 60 bucks. Um, so yeah, I was very adamant about that title being a good one to pick up while it was at rock bottom. I just made some people won't agree that it's rock bottom, you know what I mean? Yeah. 15, oh, okay. I'll find cool. it for five. Good Metal job. Jesus, thank you. See that manual there. Damn, that is it. Oh. Nope. It's a little, I'll get that fixed up. A little ugly. I'll get oh. that one. Ah. I'll get that one juiced up. Oh, yeah. That's all right. I'm just really yeah, typical over. future cop condition. I didn't have, have to fix that. I only got one hand. Yeah. I don't have any nice copies of this game. It's because everyone played it. It's a good one. Yeah, I got passed around the neighborhood. Cool game. That's one that was a ticking time bomb. Too many people would point it out to me and say, This game rocks, Dave. Have you played it? And then my answer is no. I don't but play I don't games. forget that it rocks. YouTube comments really loved on it. Man, that is a heavy game. Heavy CID. Is it? That is, yeah. It's heavier than your average PS1. Bonus disc. <laughs> yeah, why is that thick manual? Like, jeez. Something about it. Um, yeah. Keep them going. Keep them going. Go a lot. Oh, here we go. Good sign. Portugal. What is this? Thick element. Good little collectible IP there. Chris has never watched the movie. Chris, Chris what, is, what movie? The Fifth Element. I don't even... Oh, not good, not good, not oh. good. I have to talk to him about that. Yeah, just a super iconic... Sci-fi, cool movie, kind of the post '80s sci-fi. Um, excellent decade, excellent era for cinema. It's like, yeah, in the '90s we got Twelve Monkeys, we got Fifth Element. Bruce Willis kind of took Arnold's place in making badass sci-fi movies. Arnold, you know you like Arnold, Arnold. Chris Arnold Schwarzenegger, Schwarzenegger dude. That one guy. You're a fan. That's something I got for my Pixel. To, to turn it. Um, yeah, I mean, he's in a lot of good, good sci-fi type movies. Then it was Bruce Willis. He became the man. Oh. Better have been cheap. Yeah, I need to look at this. Sometimes sellers will just say, they'll mm -hmm. read the word complete. They'll steal another seller's title. Mm -hmm. And they'll I've, just picture the front some, or something like that. I've been noticing so. both that problem and the opposite problem where people say no manual. And right in the picture, there's a manual. So no one buys it. And I'm like, uh, yo, what, what's going on, bro? Yeah, and it's probably just and like, like oh, oh, yeah, I copied my... Other yeah. list. That's how they, when you make a yeah. listing. Sell similar or whatever. It's sell similar and it, you're... Yep, they just didn't fix People up enough don't of know how to use the previous template. <clears throat> That's a fucking hard to find title. Deceptively, like, stupid rare. You know, you think of Cap, like, closest title to this. Yeah, and it's not really similar, but it's like, you got your Capcom, you got God Hand. I love seeing 3D, Capcom. Another 3D beat em up by Capcom on PS2. People revere. God Hand. This one surfaces far less frequently than God Hand. It's of the Final Fight franchise. It does. Yeah, it, there's a love hate with it though from mm. fans that have played it. But and the other thing is it came out on Xbox. But uh, but man, they're uh, both like like why didn't Capcom print more copies of this game? So those games, Phil's gonna love it at the next event. He'll be like, dude, I want this. Because Phil loves those games where it's like the critics pan it, but he gives it a chance and mm -hmm. finds some kind of endearing no. qualities. No game? Yeah, I know that one. That's fine. Bought Case Manual for that. I have a couple nice, of those nice. copies. 
Oh. You're good, you're good, you're good. Oh. Radical Rick on my on my music. Don't voice. copyright strike us. <laughs> Sometimes I accidentally, you know, because I'm hit old. Like, yep. hit like, add the save or something. You I have that. I have that shit happen. Whoa, two in a row? Wow. I like to jam out to Radical Rick when I'm exercising. It's Radical, dude. Is that it? Is that it? We get the Korea revives going. One sec. One sec. Oh, I can't believe that's on your show playlist. Um, this guy owes the United States post post office for stealing their packaging materials. This oh, came from us. Yep, 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 yep. So typical. Oh, that stuff. What's he man. doing, man? Not supposed to do that. Sega. Like that guy's not allowed to have any ethical or or about morality after stealing from the eyes of people. Well, like that. coming out of our taxes, so he's paying for us. Better, you better be paying these taxes. Um, you're welcome, everybody at home, for Chris's terrible film job. Yeah, I try my best. Try my That's best the thing, you try, you try zero. <laughs> but I'm not, it's really low well, effort. Um, I, I know. It's all about the games, man. It's all about the games. So what do you like about this one, man? The Sega published? Exclusive to PS2, it's uh, Sega AM2. What does that mean to you? Nothing, because you're still learning. Yeah, I don't play games, dude. I well, don't know. you should know Sega I don't know AM2. PS2. You should know developer Sega AM2 mm -hmm. and their importance to Sega over the years, man. They go way back to the 90s. Outrun, stuff like oh, that. Okay. Sega AM2, Space Harrier, like all their, that was like their lead development team for their arcade games in the 90s. I get AM motherfucking 2. And, um, is it exclusive to PS2? And it's the sequel to 18 Wheeler, Pro American Trucker. Okay. Which is a Dreamcast game, or the GameCube game, or the PS2 game, you know? So it's like plenty of people got to like, experience, and enjoy um, 18 Wheeler. And it's like, yo, did you know there's an 18 Wheeler 2? They'll say, no, there isn't. You say, yeah, it wasn't called 18 Wheeler 2, but it's called. King of Route 66. And you, you're like... You yeah, know, I like that shimmer. You know, some cases, it's like, yeah, they do a super high quality re reproduction of that case mm -hmm. insert, and it's like... Hard to you notice. You can't even notice, but it's like, you, you just... This thing... And I've got several copies, and when they're rough, they're much less appetizing. There's something about nice copies. I really look up for nice ones. I'm not sure if they're catching that in the camera, but yep. it's, it's yep. nice and metallic. Nice to see my reflection there. It's just... <laughs> Mirror finish there, so really very, cool. very nice cover. Simplistic, but uh, beautiful. Yeah, this, uh, I, I like that aspect of it. Nice, nice cover to it. Nice, nice little game. Arcadey, so it's pick up and play. I think that's all it's going to age well. It's going to age well. It has, and that gives it Metal G's potential. Mm -hmm. That's such a factor. It's like, what? Because he's, he's your adult gamer, man. Us adults don't have as much time to play RPGs and shit. But like, there's plenty of family men where, you know, they get the wife and kids and they continue to want to collect but that's why they tend to start leaning towards shmups good yep. platformers yep good racers a few um, games puzzle puzzle genre yep and, and i noticed like when it comes to you know your you get out of your teenage years rpgs you got a lot something about rpgs and teenagers and stuff but like if there's one game that you're willing to kind of sink a little bit more time into that's kind of story driven it tends to be that your horror genre that kind of makes sense yeah so. pretty much V1. It's such a... It's just fun. It's like, yeah. there's a few things where you can get your thrills and you kind of start to see it all by the time you get to your 30s, but I don't know, it's a certain psychological horror game. Resident Evil 8, you know? It's like, tons of people are going to want to play that. It's scare the shit out of you. The hottest area of PS2 collecting all your freaking horror titles. Yep. Even PS1, you know? Yep. Tower and 
Shout out to Ariana. It's really kind of stolen the throne as the most premier collectible genre. Genre, yeah. Yeah. You know? There's always your outliers in certain libraries where it's like, oh, this library is shmup. Collecting shmup, shmup having on Turbo and Genesis and stuff. But it's like, yeah, by the time you got the polygons and stuff, it's like horror's really kind of taking over. It's like all things horror, you know, it's like, try to think of a PS2 horror game that isn't really highly sought after. And it's gotta just be a terrible, terrible game. game. Basically, just gotta be horrible. Yeah, or an overprinted Resident Evil or something. And then just that one. That, Hudson, alright. Yeah, it's, it's just because they're so cheap and the game looks like a lot of fun. And it's Red Entertainment, Hagane. Cool. Believe it or not, Hagane. That game is Hagane. You can unlock Hagane in it. What like yeah, that, that would be terrible. Well, then it would it, it would it would steal some Hagane value, and this would raise up a bit. Yeah, that just for gameplay. I can see that. You know? But it's on the Wii, so if it played, be like, I hope I can rotate the controller it's in just, this hypothetical. It's just neat to me when you, when you look into a developer and it's like checking out gameplay of Hagane, and you say, "Man, this comp- this game is great." I wonder if they made anything else like Hagane. And when you look at their library of of games that they made. They vary a lot. Um, like, they also did Spike McFang, which is a Link to the Past clone, essentially. It's a mm-hmm. Zelda... They did Bonk SNES one, style I Zelda game. I think they did Air Zonk. And, yeah, I think you're right. They did Bonk one. So, that, you know, they are they got in all kinds of stuff. And then come Polygon era, era, um, you know, they did Gungraves on PS2. They, um, they did that game Bujin Guy that I like. Taito published it flashy cover art and just 3D action hack and slash and you're there on the Wii making a, a cutesy tropical flying game so just neat stuff um, I think that does oh wait 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 Ooh. no I think that does here, let me show, 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 little, show, show that from yeah. Devin one of my prettiest favorite CIBs ever so from a shelf collecting standpoint it's riding it's a shmup it's it's good big net little net micro net yeah, you got, you got those colors, but like, man, look at the spread, especially when, when you bring out the manual and then the cartridge. Yeah, like, man. Look at these guys, man. What a pretty, what a pretty game. I love how Genesis wasn't so strictly uniform. I like how they allowed games like this. Yeah, DJ it wasn't all red and, spine with the, with the candy canes. Yep, yeah, they let, they let publishers kind of get creative with it, so... Um, and then this company, with the funny thing, this is the one that John Hancock could, can't pronounce. Oh. Riding track, tr- tr- uh, he starts uh, marbles start falling out of his mouth, and um, but he's got the variant. Yeah, to riding track with the apology letter, the variant cover. So he- Micronet, uh, I guess this game sold poorly or something, and they were like, I guess maybe they got feedback like these kids don't like your gay looking. You know, maybe that was a thing. I don't know. I don't know about you, but in the 90s, we used to call each other fags and stuff as a not-so-endearing term. So, you know, maybe it was just a little bit too gay and um, too flashy, too flamboyant um, to sell a shmup. Just theorizing here. Just mm-hmm. being, being objective. Mm-hmm. Um, and so Micronet re- produces a variant with a much more... What was that game you got? Just to show. Uh, just to show yeah. Just to pull it out really real quick. Micronet. Yeah, it coincidentally is Micronet. Yep. So yeah, they produce, I guess that has more of a mech on it, but it's just a much more metal looking front cover of like an awesome side of like an F-16 on the front of it or something like that. But they did that. That was the variant of Ride and Trat. And to me, it was much more like this, much more, ah, less poppy. You know, this mm. pops the fuck out. Less poppy, but some, yeah, it's hard to say, you know. So, and, and yeah, the cool... People the, just like it because it's got value. It's a, well, yeah, it's a... The it's, variant. Yeah, you'll I mean, see this is 10, two, but... you'll see 20 of these for every one of that variant. And then it was just funny that Micronet put in an apology letter. Yeah, a little apology letter. <laughs> about the, about the cover art. It's kind of silly. Um, great for us, great for us collectors, though. Oh, well, it's not CIB. Oh, no, it's missing the apology letter. It's no reg card. Yeah, Chris likes that stuff because there's maniacs out there that'll pay... Whatever Big it top dollar. Whatever to get, it takes to get 100%. To get that missing component. A little... Hey, John, do you, do you, would you sell that extra... Uh, that apology letter? John would be like, no. No, it's in my cl- It's in my museum. Oh, he'd They'd be, sell uh, it for 500 and then, But that's... And this is where I'm getting at. They'd be like, well, John, what about $200 for that little piece of paper? 
I bet he'd still play hardball. You know what I mean? Like, he'd yeah. yaw from 500 and he'd be good. Anyways.